Public hearings that could affect a We Energy's proposal to raise homeowners' electricity rates by 18 percent and natural gas rates 14 percent over two years will take place this week. As with previous utility rate hikes, this plan is controversial, as WUWM's Chuck Kornbach reports. In addition to what homeowners would face, businesses would see hikes in what they pay for electricity and natural gas. The business increases would be smaller, but still a problem for Willie Collier. He owns a seven-chair barber shop and salon on Villard Avenue in Milwaukee. Collier says in the roughly 14 years he's been at that location, his monthly utility bills have nearly doubled. Considering I have to run heat, I have electrical uh, things that I have to run on a daily, it's a, it's a doozy. It's definitely a doozy. And not only do I have it here in my salon, my business, but also at home. Now with We Energies coming around with a new plan to increase rates, Collier laments the lack of choice he has for buying power and heat. With it being a monopoly the way that it is, you know, it's very strenuous. We don't have any choices as to who we can deal with or anything to that matter. But at the same time, you know, if they just be fair, we wouldn't mind them being a monopoly. We Energies is a regulated monopoly, meaning the Public Service Commission of Wisconsin, or PSCW, has to approve rate increases. The PSC is already meeting with official parties in the current case. This week, it's the public's chance to weigh in, as right now the estimate is homeowners would pay about another $150 a year for electricity. We Energy spokesperson Brendan Conway says the rate hikes are needed for several reasons, one being to strengthen the electrical system to withstand more frequent severe weather. We have never said it, that it's not changing climate, but, you know, what our focus on is on, you know, addressing that. I mean, a, a specific statistic that is interesting is we've been tracking what we call significant outages. So that's outages that impact 100,000 customers or more. Since 2020, we've had eight of them. In the previous 43 years, we saw six. Conway says the proposed rate hike is also needed as We Energies tries to recover costs from developing cleaner forms of energy, cleaner than their longtime favorite, coal burning. Plants that the PSCW has already approved, and that includes the Paris Solar Energy Center in Kenosha County, the Darien Solar Energy Center in Rock and Walworth County. Both of those are under construction today and are expected to be in service this year. Conway says a third part of the rate hike plan is to generate money to trim trees near power lines and bury more of the wires. The Citizens Utility Board of Wisconsin is among the groups trying to reduce the size of any rate increase. Cub Executive Director Tom Content says one focus is on reducing We Energy's proposed profit. We've shown that they've gotten above average profits for a long time. And our proposal would bring those profits down and save over $125 million over the two years. Content says another goal during this rate case is to reduce the amount of money We Energies can make from the upcoming retirement of its older coal-fired power plant in Oak Creek. Years ago, the company borrowed money and raised rates to pay for improvements there. But Content explains the company could now save money by ceasing operation. It was built way back in the 50s and the 60s, but the PSC approved about almost $900 million of new spending for that plant so that it would add the catalytic converters and the scrubbers and things that help people's hearts and lungs if they lived near a coal plant. At the time, the thought was that the plant was going to last a lot longer, and now it's being shut down well before the end of its useful life. The profit schedule extends as long as that originally planned useful life was, which was going into the 2040s. We Energy says it's been, quote, incredibly aggressive in closing coal plants, in part with the support of environmental and consumer groups. Whether you want to talk about these more complex utility funding issues or the simple matter of how the proposed rate hikes would affect your household or business budget, the PSC is taking testimony at public hearings tomorrow in Racine and Thursday in downtown Milwaukee. The regulatory agency usually issues a ruling on a rate case before the end of the year. Chuck Quirmbach, 89.7, WUWM, Milwaukee's NPR.